Hey y'all, it's Lissa, aka Bangs and Glasses. I'm back with another layout share for you all. I'm trying to get caught up on sharing all the layouts I've created. Um, so this is a pile of layouts um, that I created probably like mid-May through part of June. Um, so I have about 21 layouts to share with you all today. Um, and a lot of these are um, photos from 2019. I'm trying to get through all of my photos from 2019 um, and just get, you know, kind of caught up on all my photos. So let's start with this first layout. Um, so this is a layout using Maggie Holmes Flourish. It's called Celebrate the Little Things. Um, and these are photos of me going out with some coworkers. Um, we had a little get together um, to kind of kick off the start of the new spring semester for school. Um, so we went out to eat at a fancy restaurant and then we went to an art museum. Um, so I really liked using Flourish um, for kind of more like fancy events like going to an art museum or just a nice restaurant. I feel like Flourish can be very like formal in a way um, and less playful than some of the other Maggie Holmes collections. So I liked getting to use that. Um, I really like these vellum pieces down here, these florals. And I got to use up some tags and some scraps. So that was fun to do. Next, um, this is a winter layout, which I really like. Um, I love that it uses a lot of blue, which is my favorite color. This is called Burr. And this is a photo um, of my view while I was at school. Um, it had snowed. Um, so this is kind of my view before I was, you know, leaving school for the day. It had snowed. Um, that's my car in the parking lot right there. Um, it doesn't snow very often in Oklahoma. So when it does, it's kind of like a big event. Um, so I used... For this layout the Echo Park Hello Winter collection and then some of the crepe paper snow and cocoa which is one of my favorite collections of all time. Um, I just have a little bit left of that um, and I try and use it sparingly. Um, I was able to use like these big snowflake die cuts and then I die cut out some more snowflakes in the silver um, using a die that I have. Um, however the die didn't cut all the way through the glitter paper. I think just because it was too thick, so um, there's stuff that's supposed to be punched out in the middle that I couldn't get out without ripping the paper. Um, so I got to use just some more of this Hello Winter line and use up some um, other like scraps and just create a fun snowy layout. All right, so next. Um, this is another photo or photos from 2019 and this is using a Vicky Booten pre-made paper. Um, I really liked this paper, how it kind of reminded me of like, uh, the sunset. These are photos that were taking at night when we were going out to eat. Um, so I thought that worked really well with the colors of the photo and kind of indicating that it was nighttime. I got to use up a bunch of these titles, um, from a Hobby Lobby sheet. Um, and I thought that was a fun idea to kind of do just like a line of titles down the middle and then my photos going this way. And then I was able to use up a couple bits of random ephemera that have been in my like random bucket that I needed to use up. Um, so this is us. We were going out to eat um, to celebrate our um, dating anniversary. I think it was, yeah, our ninth dating anniversary at the time. Um, and we had gone out to eat to celebrate. So I'm glad I got that documented. Next, this is another layout using snow and cocoa. Um, and I just always love working with that collection. Really playful, fun colors that are wintry without being like only Christmas or like only winter. Um, so this one is just called Winter Memories, and it's just a selfie of me um, while I was on winter break.
Next, this is a summer layout and um, one of the first layouts I created for a photo from 2021. Um, I have been trying to use up this Echo Park Summer Fun Collection and um, I've got it almost all the way killed off. I just have a couple bits of it left, um, but I try to use a lot of the leftovers on here. So this one is just called Happy It's Summer and it's just documenting me getting this fun pineapple drink out in an event. Um, and it's just so summery, um, so I wanted to use a whole lot of summer themed things, bring in a lot of pineapples. Um, these flowers were made for me and sent to me in some Happy Mail using the Summer Fun Collection, so I was excited to get those used up. And I just really love all the bright, summery colors um, they got to use on this page. Next, this is a layout um, called You Can't Have Rainbows Without a Little Rain. And I finally got to use some of these clouds that I've had in my stash forever. Um, and I was just documenting. Um, these are photos taken at our new house. We had like just moved in, but uh, we didn't know if we were actually going to get the house yet. Um, it was kind of a tumultuous time. Um, so I just kind of documented that here. And it had been raining a lot. Um, so it's kind of just like adding to the feeling of like sadness at the time. So um, it all worked out in the end and we did get, you know, our rainbow after the rain. Uh, so I did want to document that. And this is using the um, Pink Paisley Whimsical collection mostly. Um, I love that collection. I feel like it's mostly crafty themed. Um, but there's some stuff in there like this that you can use anytime. Okay, next, this is a like fall layout. I'm um, getting to play with the, um, let's see, Maggie Holmes Marigold collection, um, which I've only played with once or twice. Um, I kind of wanted to treat this like I would a traveler's notebook layout and have just like two separate sides. So these are two papers that I cut in half and just spliced together on the back. You can see it's just taped together. Um, and I wanted to document these two photos together because it's from the same day, but it's kind of about different things. So, um, this is a photo of my husband. I was able to give him a little like half bun thing, which you can't really see in the photo, uh, but his hair had gotten long enough for me to do that. And then we had made a new chili recipe that night. Um, so I wanted to document that as well. These stickers are all from Pipsticks, which is a sticker subscription club. And these stickers were all on the same sheet and they were laid out exactly like this. And I thought it just looks so great that I basically just like copied what that sticker sheet looked like and put the stickers in that same order. Um, and there's just all these fun little crock pots and like cooking things. I thought that was so cute. And this one is just titled Good Things. Next I have a pocket layout, um, which I'm kind of experimenting with. Um, I think I still like creating 12 by 12 layouts better than the pocket layouts, um, but this is some more photos from 2019. This is when we went to Eureka Springs to celebrate our first wedding anniversary, uh, which I titled here. Um, so this is us, you know, driving there, my husband driving us, and then us eating at a amazing Italian restaurant called Cafe Amore. Um, so if you're ever in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, I highly recommend that restaurant. Um, and I got to use up some more of my Maggie Holmes Open Book collection, which is my favorite collection, but one that I'm trying to get used up because it's very old. And then on the back, um, these are just some more photos from that trip. Very photo heavy, so I just have this one pocket here where I kind of talk about um, what was going on in these photos. And we were just out shopping. Um, I took a bunch of selfies of us and like these flower crowns. Um, so I just talked about that here. All right, next, this is my first layout I created with um, Maggie Holmes um, round trip. Um, and I lifted this from someone on Instagram who used the same background paper um, and kind of did their layout in a similar way. I can't remember who it is. Um, but I wanted to use a lot of like the purple stuff because I'm wearing purple and also kind of like the blue for my husband's shirt. 
Um, and this one's titled Adventure Together. So everything on here is Maggie Holmes Round Trip except for the washi. And I'm kind of regretting putting this washi on here because I feel like it doesn't really go with the rest of the stuff because everything's very pastel. And this is like very deep and saturated. So I don't know. If I was going to do this again, I'd probably take this washi off and put something else. But um, it's, it's fine. It's fine for now. But it was nice to kind of start playing with that. I got to use my favorite piece from this collection, which is this vellum um, map piece. That's like one of my favorite pieces from the collection. Now we also don't travel by airplane very often, so I wanted to use up airplane stuff um, as much as I could here. All right, next, this is a kind of random layout. I used a bunch of random bits on it, um, but this was me documenting. Um, we finally got another like love seat or sofa for our living room in our first apartment, and I um, ended up covering it just like tucking in my grandmother's quilt that I had kind of recover um, the love seat and I loved how that looked I loved the colors um, so I just did some random embellishments from that random um, bucket of stuff I have this background paper is a dear Lizzie paper um, from documentary I think is the name and I love this little house. It's one of my favorite random bits that I had. Next, this is a layout using um, mostly Maggie Holmes open book. And this is a random Webster Pages paper. Um, so this one is called This Is No Longer Our Home. And it's documenting me. Um, this is like the last time I was ever in my childhood home before my parents sold it. We ended up having like a big sort of estate sale situation. So this is like a selfie I took of myself while we were sitting there doing the estate sale. Um, and I just kind of wrote about that um, here. But I definitely wanted to document that and also acknowledge, um, you know, the time and the situation and why that all happened. And I got to use some more of the open book, trying to get that used up. Next, this is a layout using Maggie Holmes um, Willow Lane, which is another collection that I kind of struggle with using. Um, so I was happy to use this background paper because um, it's kind of a challenge to use, I feel like, without just like cutting these out and using them as embellishments. So this is just called Bright Days Ahead. This is another photo from 2019 um, in January. Me and my husband, we just gone out to eat at Dairy Queen <laughs> to get some ice cream. So. Um, just kind of a random little moment, um, but I wanted to document that as well. I got to use some of the fun florals on here and to finish up this scallop washi. I killed that off um, in June, um, so I'm making some progress on killing off some washi, which is always good. Next, um, this is when we start to move into layouts that I made as part of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. It was the best of sketches for um, June. So this is a layout I created for that. And um, I was inspired by Shannon Allure to put a cluster down here at the bottom that wasn't originally in the sketch. Um, so this one's just titled Love You. And I'm using Dear Lizzie, She's Magic and some random Hobby Lobby stickers. I love how this came out. I love getting to use a ton of embellishments here at the bottom and use up more of that um, She's Magic collection, which I'm also trying to kill off. This is just a random photo I took of my husband and I thought he looked really cute. Um, so I wanted to bring out kind of like the blue in his hat, um, but also just use like a bunch of color because otherwise it's a very neutral photo. So I could use a ton of different things. I love all the layering that's going on down here. Um, yeah, just a great way to use up a ton of ephemera. All right, this next one is also um, one I created for 30 Days of Sketches. Um, it was a layout that just had like a strip and like some circles. Um, and these are photos of me working from home. And I just took some selfies of me with my coffee mug for the day. Um, and I thought the circles on here really tied into this shape that's on my coffee mug. If you don't know, this is the um, Tulsa City flag. We 
had a flag design for Tulsa and this is the flag. So it has kind of this dream catcher shape um, in the middle of the flag. And then I just used some circle -y embellishments to kind of tie back into that theme. Um, so this one is just called Hello Today. And I used a Vicky Booten background paper, some pink paisley and Paige Evans embellishments. And then this embellishment and this embellishment were made by My Divine Inspiration on Etsy um, from that collection. So I just kind of did a little more embellishing around there. All right, this is another one for 30 Days of Sketches. This is a 4th of July layout um, from 2020. Um, so in 2020, we celebrated 4th of July by watching Hamilton on Disney+. Plus. It had just come out on Disney+, Plus, um, and we were really excited to watch it, so we had a movie night. Um, so this layout, I used some Vicky Booten paper, and I cut up this paper, which was one, like, chevron paper that went that way. And I cut out triangles um, to make the triangles in the sketch for that day. And then the embellishments are from um, Simple Story, Simple Pages, and then some from uh, Bow Bunny. Next, this is a um, layout I think I found on Pinterest that I took inspiration from. Um, and I wanted to use up a lot of just random embellishments on here too. So on here, this one's just called Good Times. This is a photo of my husband just kind of taking a nap on the sofa. This is when we first moved into our house. Um, so we didn't have like a lot of furniture yet, a lot of like stuff um, unpacked. So you can see it's pretty bare in the room. Um, so I wanted to document that too. Um, let's see, so this is a Vicky Booten pre-made mixed media paper. Um, just used up some random embellishments from my stash. Got to use up some washi over here and a little strip of paper. Wanted to kind of use like neutral colors, um, kind of focus on just like blue and yellow and a lot of neutrals. All right, so this is another summer layout. Um, this one, I think I just kind of did my own thing. I don't think I looked at a sketch or anything for this. Um, this is me trying to kill off the Summer Fun Collection from Echo Park. Um, so I just used up the rest of the embellishments on this page. This is just a photo of me shopping at Hobby Lobby. And I've got my um, Starbucks Strawberry Acid Refresher. And I'm in front of like some lemon stuff. And I've got my summery mask on. So I wanted to just use all the random summer things. And it's titled Sunny Sunny Summer Day. I loved this little paper fan on here. Um, the background paper is from, let's see, I think it's Dear Lizzie, but I don't remember the name of the collection. We got to use some more washi on here as well. This is a um, more masculine layout called You're Just Plain Wonderful. This is just a random photo of my husband chilling out um, when we still lived in our apartment. This was just um, two days after his birthday. Um, so I kind of wrote about that here. Um, so this collection is from Echo Park Teen Spirit Boy. Um, one of my only like masculine collections that I had. So this is my first time playing with it. I used up a lot of embellishments here to make a cluster. I loved getting to use this random um, bit from the thickers to kind of act like a cord for this um, video game controller. I thought that was really fun. All right, so this layout is another pocket page layout and this is me documenting COVID-19 um, and when we first you know had quarantine like when COVID-19 just started basically so I used the Simple Stories um, quarantined collection I've been saving that collection to document these photos in this time um, so I did just like a lot of journaling there's a couple photos on here um, from that time but I really just wanted to journal a lot on here about what was going on 
um, and just talk about that time because I know, you know, one day my kids will look at this or my grandkids and they'll have questions about that time and what was going on. So I wanted to make sure I got that documented. Okay, and then this is another layout that was from um, 30 Days of Sketches. It's called My Heart is Yours. I love this layout. I love all the colors on there. Um, this is just a photo of my husband. Um, thought he looked really handsome there. Um, and we used an Amy Tangerine paper. And then the hearts are die cuts. Um, or I die cutted them out of a pink paisley pick me up collection six by six paper pad so I got to use some more of that and then the embellishments are mostly from pink paisley as well um so this was a sketch that had a lot of hearts on there which I thought was perfect for this layout I also used some splatters on there um which I believe are from shimmers paint just to add a little touch of gold on there all right, and then my final layout for this layout share is called Thomas's Graduation. This is just a photo of me and my friends. We are celebrating my friend's graduation from graduate school. Um, so I wanted to use up a lot of like graduation themed embellishments that I've had in my stash forever. Also used up a lot of washi that I've had in my stash forever. And this is another layout for um, 30 Days of Sketches. And I really like how it came out. And that is all I have for this uh, layout share. I'll see you all in, a, in the next crafty video. Bye!